What is up guys? It's been a long time and got some surprises. Got the rancher on Aztecs. Love these tires. Sunk it again, so it's waiting for an oil change. Got KLX 110 out in the distance, but that one's nothing compared to this one. Here it is, the bike that I had stolen from me. I got it back, and it probably doesn't even look the same because I've actually already put a lot of mods on it. Um, found it, my buddy found it, um, a guy, so someone stole it from me about eight months ago. If you haven't seen that, I kind of posted like a little part in a video about it, but you can go back and watch videos of this bike. And then I had it stolen from me. The, my buddy Jacob, who I actually bought it from, he saw it on Facebook down about three hours south of me in Coon Rapids, maybe three, four hours or so. And the guy had bought it from another guy and he was looking for plastics for it. And my buddy figured out, wow, hey, that's your bike, whatever. I only had a partial picture of the VIN because it was blurry. But I mean, I got my bike pack. I've already put a lot of different stuff on it. I put, it was missing the grips, bar pad and front number plate when I got it. Uh, so that's new, that's new, that's new. Put a new clutch cable on it. Uh, yep, lever's new. Let's see. Same exhaust, same brake, same peg, same peg mount, same cradle. Uh, what else? Okay, oh, I was missing this thing too. Put a new one of those. And this is actually a Two Brothers racing swing arm. I got off that bike. And it's a plus four swing arm. And I got a race tech shock right there. But I'm actually waiting on a brand new Elka that I purchased for this thing. And hey, I gotta tighten my spokes. Shout out to TV Parts. I'm a dealer for them now. So if you need literally any pit bike parts from Chinese KLX, they have pretty much everything you should need. And when you check out, use code Keaton Patterson. K-E-A-T-E-N-P-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. And then you will be able to, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully you can get a discount on it. I haven't tried it yet, but, but yeah. I mean, I put a new switch on it because I ended up breaking. So this is off and on. And that's the start. There we go. Still runs good. It does burn a little bit of oil when I'm hard on it, but... That's fine, it'll get a big bore soon anyways. this thing more than the ktm over there but yeah i'm really pumped to have it back and pretty much just just a video i didn't have much to make it about other than kind of new stuff but i haven't posted in a long time sorry about that guys oh i got another truck too i'm trying to sell but that's kind of irrelevant right now and this is a 155 or not my bad it's 143 with i don't know what's done with the motor this is dirty south on the head but I modified it all up, or the guy modified it all up, and then I took that swing arm off it, and I put my stock one on here. So yeah, this thing rips too. It needs a different main jet, but it pulls hard. It's got KTM 65 front end. Just put a new uh, air filter on it. I got it jetted pretty good. I bought it not running for 13, but it had a lot of good parts on it. So I just listed it for two grand because bikes are selling good right now. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.